Today's Daily Read Aloud is Pepper's Christmas Unicorn from the Pepper Pig TV series. It was the beginning of December and Pepper and her family were decorating their Christmas tree. Pepper pulled a decoration from the Christmas box. It's the prickly cactus we got when Daddy went monster trucking in America, she cried. And here's the flamingo from our summer holiday, said Daddy Pig. What lovely memories, said Mummy Pig, smiling. What a perfect tree, said Daddy Pig, hanging his last bauble. Hmm, there's still one bare branch. But there aren't any decorations left, Pepper sighed. Never mind, said Mummy Pig. The tree looks wonderful, just as it is. Okay, said Pepper, but she couldn't help staring at the empty branch. A few weeks later, it was Christmas Eve. Come on, called Daddy Pig. It's time to go to the Christmas fair. Hooray, cried Pepper and George. The Christmas fair was lots of fun. There were stalls full of yummy food, games to play, gingerbread houses to decorate, and a Christmas carousel, cried Pepper. Who wants a ride? asked Mummy Pig. I do, I do, cheered Pepper and George, jumping up and down. Daddy Pig, said Mummy Pig, would you like to ride the carousel? Daddy Pig looked at the Christmas carousel. Oh, what does it do? he asked Miss Rabbit, who was in charge of the ride. It spins around and around up in the air, she explained. Ah, said Daddy Pig. He was a little bit scared of heights. Come on, it'll be so much fun, said Pepper. Okay, said Daddy Pig. I'll give it a whirl. Pepper and George looked at the animals they could ride on the carousel. Dinosaur, grrr, shouted George, picking a special Christmas dinosaur. Mummy Pig climbed on the dinosaur with him. Pepper spotted a golden, glittery Christmas unicorn, she cried. I'm riding this one. Doesn't it look magical? It certainly does, agrees Daddy Pig. Last call for the magical Christmas carousel, announced Miss Rabbit. All aboard! Come on, Daddy, called Pepper. Let's hurry. Daddy Pig got into Santa's sleigh. Ho, 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 he cheered. Once everyone was settled safely on the ride, Miss Rabbit pressed a button. The carousel started to spin around and around, getting faster and faster. Pepper, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig were lifted up higher and higher, up into the air, until suddenly <gasps> they were flying. Whee! cried Pepper on her magical Christmas unicorn. Dinosaur! Grrr! cried George on his special Christmas dinosaur. Daddy Pig's sleigh was close behind. His eyes were shut. Open your eyes, Daddy, said Pepper. We're flying! Daddy Pig opened one eye and looked down. Oh my goodness, we are flying! From up high, Pepper and George could see the houses below, decorated with Christmas lights and the trees covered in snow. Look, Daddy, gasped Pepper, pointing. It's our house. Daddy Pig peered down and his sleigh started to drop. Luckily, Pepper's unicorn helped their reindeer and pulled the sleigh back up again. Phew, said Daddy Pig. Miss Rabbit pressed a button and everyone flew back down to the ground. Wasn't that amazing? cried Pepper. We were flying, weren't we, Daddy? It must be Christmas magic, replied Daddy Pig, a little dizzy from the ride. Now, who wants to visit Santa? asked Mummy Pig. I do, I do, cheered Pepper and George, jumping up and down. Pepper told Santa all about her magical ride on the flying Christmas unicorn. We even saw our house, she cried. Our Christmas tree was sparkling in the window. We collect decorations. Your tree sounds wonderful, said Santa. I'd love to see it. You can, said Pepper. Tonight. Oh, yes, said Santa. Of course. I should probably get going, 
said Santa, chuckling. I've got a rather busy night of present delivering ahead of me. <laughs> yes, said Pepper excitedly. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas, Pepper, said Santa. It was lovely talking to you. Time to head home, said Mummy Pig. It's a big day tomorrow. Back at home, Pepper and George got into their cosy Christmas pyjamas, put out yummy treats for Santa and his reindeer, and hung up their stockings. Please, can we have a magical Christmas bedtime story now? asked Pepper. Daddy Pig told Pepper and George a magical Christmas bedtime story, and they soon fell fast asleep. On Christmas morning, Pepper and George raced downstairs to find that Santa had been. Pepper peeked into her stocking and pulled out a little sparkly box. Inside was a glittery golden Christmas unicorn tree decoration. It's just like the one I rode on the carousel, she gasped. Another lovely memory for the tree, said Mummy Pig. And now you have a decoration for that empty branch, said Daddy Pig. Santa is rather clever, isn't he? (laughs) I love you, Christmas unicorn, whispered Pepper. Suddenly, the unicorn shone brightly and flew onto the tree branch. Wow, gasped Pepper. Did you see that? What? asked Mummy Pig. Everyone came to look, but the unicorn was as still as all the other decorations on the tree. She was flying, said Pepper, but now she stopped. Must be Christmas magic, said Daddy Pig, winking. Thank you, Santa, Pepper said. This is the most magical Christmas ever. Pepper loves Christmas unicorns. Everyone loves Christmas unicorns. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. We have a new story every day, so make sure you subscribe. The end.